Antarctica is becoming increasingly important for climate change research. Finnish researchers have been playing a prominent role in understanding the impact of climate warming on the ice sheet. My name is John Moore, I'm British and I'm a glaciologist and climate change researcher in the University of Lapland. What we are trying to do is simulate the entire Antarctic ice sheet and its response to climate change over the next 100 years or so. And in other words, how much contribution the melting of Antarctica will increase global sea levels. We don't have a lot of direct observational evidence beyond the satellite era, so really everything that we look at in the future has to come from simulations on the computer. What we're looking at here is Antarctica. The colour scale shows the velocities observed from satellites. And you can see that there are faster velocities near the coast and particularly along certain features known as ice streams. Over the 20th century, Antarctica has been fairly stable when it comes to climate change. It's so cold that even if you change, increase the temperature by a small amount, you wouldn't get any appreciable melting at the surface. It's only when the ocean currents warm and the warm water can go underneath these large floating ice shelves that you start to uh, get an impact of the climate. Over the last 20, 30 years, the very northern ice shelves around the Antarctic Peninsula, some of those have started to disintegrate and, and melt. But those are floating ice shelves. They don't change sea level directly because they're already floating. What happens next in Antarctica is really the subject of this uh, research that we're trying to do. I think that the uh, immediate worry is that the large mass loss that's been detected by the satellites in some parts will spread to other regions of Antarctica and uh, that will become a very unstable kind of process. So sea levels may rise uh, very dramatically. So to make the models that we're using for simulating the Antarctic ice sheet, we take existing models using established physics and then we apply modifications to those, modifications that we specifically need that observations collected from satellite and from scientists in the field have shown that we need to make. For example, one of these modifications would be to represent the way in which ice slides over the bedrock of Antarctica. The data that is collected, we use that data to modify the underlying equations and to modify the model, which involves a lot of um, code development. Once this code development is complete, we can then run the completed model on a high-performance computer. This video we have made shows the output from an ice sheet model. It's a future projection of how the Totten Glacier and Dalton Glacier in East Antarctica may respond to ocean warming and climate change over the next 100 years. The largest uncertainty to sea level rise over the 21st century is what happens to Antarctica. At the moment, we think it could even range from a lowering of minus 10 centimetres to an increase in global sea levels of more than a metre. If we can narrow down that uncertainty, it will give much better information for planners, city planners, for politicians around the world. About one billion people live within one metre of high tide at the moment. One billion people that would have to move their living place over the 21st century as a result of rising sea level. They need to be told.